Hi guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with an update for you on the uh, WoW storage server. Um, I think we might start calling it WoW SS, so WoW storage server. I don't know, I'm still thinking about this because uh, we didn't um, actually come up with a name or anything, but it's kind of expected. So yeah, let me know what you think. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm going to stay out of shot and uh, let you know what I've done over the last sort of day or so. Just been kind of picking it up and putting it down in between testing for all the reviews. Uh, essentially, if I spin the case round, we've got Noctua fans in the front now. Now sadly, I don't think the light's going to pick them up, but when you come round here, you can see that the fans are in there. We've got the hard drives mounted, one, two, three, four, five there. So that's 10 terabytes of hard drive space in total. Uh, and then the 64 gigabyte um, solid state drive there. I've also got the uh, NZXT power supply in there. I'm trying. It's a bit difficult because I'm trying to do this, and the lights are all being gay, and the camera keeps buggering about with the focusing. Um, but yeah, essentially, like I said, I've uh, got it in there with the plain side here. I've also got. I mean, the cables are just hanging out the back at the moment but I've got it cable routed the way that I wanted to keep everything nice and tidy I mean I'm sure you can see there that it's not exactly messy uh, it does make a bit of a pain that you have to have the wires over here but the majority of the wires anyway are um, on this side so it just makes it a lot easier for me I have got a 120 fan in the back and a 140 in the roof as I said about so they are all in there uh, but we've also, if I just move this out of the way, I've also built the motherboard up ready. But something I wanted to show you is this little badge on the top. I'm going to try and bring it in so that you can see. But that's the first of our OC3D fan badges. So yeah, um, basically this is the like the first batch that I've had done. Um, uh, this metallic one, I'm really it's it's mirrored. Even the uh, colours of the badge are mirrored as well. I'm quite a fan of this. But we have got some white ones done and some like blue ones as well to match the site. But essentially, Haley's the first person to get one of these. We thought it'd be a good chance to um, show them off in her rig. But we may get a load of these made up to give away to the forum members at a later date. We will have to wait and see. But anyway, as you can see with the, the cooler on there, there's plenty of room around for RAM. So yeah, there's plenty of room around there. Um, you will be able to get the RAM in and out fine with this over here because there's, you know, I mean, I can get my hand underneath there. And as I said to you before about this cooler, where it faces down, it's going to keep the uh, MOSFETs and the actual CPU socket cool. It will help keep the RAM cool, uh, just basically keep the board itself cool because there's direct air rather than normally when this is in your case. Uh, you have just the air passing over, which, do you know, what I mean, yeah, fair enough. Where this is forcing the air at your board. Um, especially where it's quiet as well, it's just just seems to be a much better idea. I mean, I've got this in my own rig, and it works really, really well. So there. That's basically it. The uh, case is now ready for the board to go in, and then it's just a case of. Um, hooking everything up um, and once everything's hooked up then we can start doing uh, we'll get the operating system on there um, I, I know a lot of you are now going to go what? Um, but I will be mildly overclocking it just so that the, uh, the base clock ties in with the 1600 MHz RAM um, so yeah this a lot of people are confusing this with a server that would be in a data centre or a workplace something that's do you know what I mean immensely used and all that kind of stuff it's not really this is pretty much the only way I can explain this is it's like 
a main rig with a lot of storage in it. Um, so yeah, okay, it's not going to have a graphics card or anything like that, and we are calling it a storage server, but it's not to be confused with any kind of like real professional service or anything like that. So a little bit of overclocking and do you know what I mean, tarty bits and the fact everyone keeps moaning about the fact that I'm using onboard RAID and not getting a RAID card and all that kind of stuff. Yes, do you know what I mean? I'm I'm fully aware of all this stuff. But this is just what we you know, what was chosen for Haley, for Haley's needs and what she wanted to spend. She didn't want to spend, you know what I mean, four, six hundred pounds of her budget on a RAID card. She wanted it to look nice. So essentially she's got a a, a basic system which you could effectively just chuck a graphics card in it and make a lovely gaming system but we've just filled it all up with hard drives and it's just going to be sat there to serve data um, uh, remote into I'm not sure whether like um, this is going to be connected to her telly for like almost like a HTPC kind of use as well I don't know what she's doing with it yet but um, yeah so yeah there's your, my, your quick update bring you in for another look at that fan again because I love this. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be the last video for this week because I am out on the town tonight. Um, family occasion, so I'm going out to let my hair down. Um, yeah, be back with some videos for you next week. Uh, one thing I will say is don't forget next Friday is the NDA lift for the 6000 series ATI cards. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Anyway, uh, speak to you all soon. This is Tiny Tom Logan with a little update for you on the uh, WOW SS server. Out.